This costs two hundred dollars. What's up guys? So today we're going to be doing an unboxing because I just got a package in the mail and I've been waiting for this for a long time and it even got went on back order. So that's kind of annoying, but it finally decided to show up so I can finally unpack it. Let me tell you something. This was really expensive. Like there's some expensive stuff in here and I'm pretty excited to unbox it. So let's just get right into it. As you can see, it says lab pack, and I'll get right into that just in a second after I unbox this. So I got my giant knife here, and honestly, if you don't unbox stuff with a giant knife, then you're doing it wrong. So always use a giant knife when unboxing things, because that makes it that much more fun. So let me just... I got it. Lab Pack, the best way to learn science by Hands-On Labs Incorporated. Designed to allow anytime, anywhere science experimentation. So basically what this is, is I'm currently taking an online physics class to get credits. And since it's online, you can't do the lab portion, so you kind of have to buy the lab kit to do the labs at home, and then like, write your lab report and all that nonsense. But anyways, it finally came in. And let me tell you something. The class started like four days ago, and this was supposed to show up like two weeks ago. But they decided to put these on back order. Like, this is an online class. I need this. And he decided to put it on back order so it shows up when class already started. So there's already been like two labs due, but the teacher, I guess, he'll just like move the due dates or something. But yeah, let's get into this. So let's open this up. I think this is the opening, so I'm gonna let you guys see it first. Oh, you can't even see it, okay. <laughs> you still can't see anything, okay. So what do we have? I got a bunch of bubble wrap. Actually, I won't pop that just in case I need it for a lab. Some kind of health information. Emergency contact, what's in here? Dang. Okay. I got some aluminum foil. Let's see this. Can I open this? I can't open it. Okay, I'll just save that for later. And, ooh, okay, we got some goodies in here. So basically, this tiny lab kit, like look, there's all this stuff in here. This costs $200. I'm already paying like $700 for this online class and I have to buy this lab kit. Oh, <sighs> my finances are... Okay, so we got two styrofoam cups. It seems that one is already cracked. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem or not. I might have to email them. Or I could just get styrofoam cups from the store, but I think that might be a problem. Next, we have a tape measure, ooh. Okay, why are all these bags so hard to open? Like, okay, I got it. So it's red, white, and blue. That wasn't even red, but okay. And tape measure. Okay. So we got that, let me put that back in the bag. Ooh. Next we have all these alligator clips. I always used to love playing with these in like elementary school. I haven't used these in a long time. Let me pull one out. It's cool cause like, they're like these little clips and you can just clip them on anything. I don't remember if these hurt or not. Do they hurt? Oh yeah, that hurts. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that, that really hurts. Next we have refraction block acrylic. Ooh, it seems to be just like a plastic block, I don't know. So like, you can't see through this side, but you can see through that side. Next we have, <gasps> yes! 
We've got a laser pointer. And it has equal tips. Okay, I need to open this right now. I'm so excited for this. Lasers are so freaking cool. Like, have you seen those lasers that you point and you can like see the whole beam and they just go super far? Those are so good. I love those. Okay. <gasps> okay. This is so considerate of them. They included batteries. Are you serious? I've never been treated more right in my entire life. Okay, but like, this is like already rusting. I don't know if you can see that. Are you kidding me? I literally paid $200 for this. I get a broken styrofoam cup and a rusted laser pointer. Like, why am I paying $200 for this? How do you even, I can't even open this. Okay, I'm pretty sure this laser pointer doesn't even work because it's all rusted and I can't even open it to put the batteries in. So much for being excited for that. So I'm gonna go and try and find my other laser pointers so I can test out these interchangeable tips and see what they do. So I found my other laser pointer. This one's pretty big. It's like actual presentation style and it's green. Look at that. Okay, so since they decided to send me a defective laser pointer, I guess I'll try it out on these. If you can see, there's like all these little tip attachments to the laser pointer and they're supposed to do different things. So like, do you see that? It makes it like really hazy, I guess. And then let's try this one. This one also looks pretty hazy. And then so does this one. Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to be on this because it's not working with this. All of them look hazy. I don't know, later I'll try and figure this out. If I figure it out, I'll show you guys the laser pointer, but that was a really big disappointment. $200. Okay. Let's move on to the next thing. Now we've got, ooh, we've got a ruler. Never know when you need a ruler. I mean, I already have a tape measure, so why do they have to include a ruler? Like, that could have taken off at least $2 from the price tag. Next, there's nothing else in there. We just have this giant thing. And let's see what we have in here. So right off the bat, the first thing is this. It looks like some kind of feather. Okay, on the back it says fabric kit and there's one, two, three, four, five, six different fabrics. The first fabric is this. Wow, that's pretty soft. Is this like real? This is fur. Wait, so if a vegan had to buy this kit to do experiments for their class and they got this, what would happen? This is clearly not vegan, so... Okay, next we have this green material and this is polyester. I mean, yeah, it feels like polyester. Then we have this white material and this is... This does not feel like silk. This is really rough. I don't know what they're giving to me. Okay, then we have this blue one, and this blue one is nylon. I don't really recall what nylon is. Isn't nylon like stretchy? This is pretty stretchy, so I guess that makes sense. And then we have this gray fabric, and this is cotton. Okay, yeah, that feels like a standard t-shirt that you get for free. And then finally, we have this red one, and this is just wool, so... It kind of feels like felt, so I guess that also makes sense. So now getting into this, we have a lot more stuff. So there's like this Petri dish type thing. And in here we have two balloons. And then we have salt and pepper. I thought this was a physics class, not a cooking class. I mean, I'd really much prefer if this was a cooking class because I'd rather do that than physics. Okay, next we have a protractor. I haven't used these in like four years, ever since my geometry days. Then we have, ooh, we have dissection pins. Okay, I'm really confused about this class. First we get cooking stuff, then we get dissection pins. Like, this isn't biology, this is physics. So, what class am I really taking? Who knows? Next we have, ooh, peas. Okay, hold up. This is literally a cooking class. They sent me peas, like actual peas. What? I'm so lost right now. I have no idea what kind of experiments I'm gonna be doing. Okay, this looks more physics slash electricity type of thing. 
capacitor, LED, diode, and photocell. So you have all these tiny little lights and stuff. So I guess I'll make stuff flash, I don't know. Then we have magnet wire. Ooh, I've seen these before. Like, sometimes they make you watch experiment videos because they're too poor to actually give you stuff in school, so you just watch videos instead of doing it. I remember this, I think it like spins around and stuff. So maybe I'll make a helicopter or something. I'll keep you updated. Then we have this monster. Okay, it's just a magnet with a bunch of stuff. There's two paper clips, and then we have two of these pins, and then we have two washers and a nut, or is this one washer and two nuts? I think this is a washer and this is a nut, so two, no, one washer and two nuts. Yeah, okay, one washer and two nuts. Polarizing film. I think I've actually seen these before. Let me see if it's what I think it is. Okay, so we got these. I haven't tested this out yet, but it's supposed to turn completely black if you twist it. So if I move this one, <gasps> it worked. See, you can't see anything through that one. Science rules. Science rules. 1000 lines diffraction grading. I don't know what this is for. If I hold it up to the... Whoa. Okay, so it's this thing, it says linear diffraction grading, and when you hold it up, you can see all these rainbows. Like, that's so cool. Where are they coming from? Where did they go? So next we have this mirror. Are you kidding me? They literally sent me a chipped mirror. This thing costs $200. I already have three broken items. Are you? Honestly, this is college. For all of y'all going to college, you're gonna pay for all this nonsense stuff at crazy extreme prices. And this is the type of quality stuff you get in return. Honestly, I'm just kind of triggered right now because $200 and I'm getting all this cheap stuff that's broken. Next we have some light bulbs. So we've got these mini light bulbs, probably for more electricity experiments, I guess. Then we got this battery holder, probably also for the electricity experiments, if you like, think about it, because I'm a smart person, I know what I'm doing. Then we have two clothes pins. And we've got two items left. Okay, this looks kind of peculiar, like, this is a thermometer. Ooh, this is fancy. I've never had a thermometer like this before. And it's in Celsius. Man, I don't know how to read Celsius. Right now it's 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know how much that is. Isn't that like 80 degrees? I don't know. And finally, this is the last thing. This is really fancy. It's a seven function digital multimeter. I think this is for like electric stuff. Like you plug it in the thing and then you like, do it and then it like shows you something and then you use that to do the thing so yeah that's pretty cool i guess that's it for this thing let me just double check if there's nothing under this phone no there isn't okay good so i'm kind of disappointed because this phone cup is broken this laser pointer is literally corroded at the end and I have this chipped mirror. And I have all this other stuff that I haven't tested out yet. Maybe it has like internal defects. So if it does, I'm honestly gonna have to ask for a refund because $200 ain't cheap. Even these batteries have like some corrosion on them. Like you couldn't even give me fresh batteries. What is this? So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I unboxed all this stuff for my physics class and now I actually have to go and do the lab, so that's gonna be fun, I guess. But yeah, I'll keep you posted on my life throughout the summer and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you want to, subscribe if you like physics. If you don't like physics, then you're probably lying because gravity is keeping you on the ground right now. So see you later, peace.